Hello, and welcome to Brainy Gardener. Today, it is all about how to grow and care for the agave attenuata. Agave attenuata, commonly known as foxtail, elephant's tail, lion's tail, and swan's neck agave, is a spineless rosette-forming succulent native to Mexico. Rosettes are large and showy, with curving leaves arranged symmetrically. Small stems support the rosette, but they're hidden underneath the foliage and rarely visible. The foxtail agave blooms in the summer after it matures, sending up a huge stalk laden with flowers. The foxtail agave produces several offspring. These offsprings, also called offshoots, increase the clumping of the leaves that result in thicker growth. Many regions with subtropical and warm climates use it as an ornamental plant in gardens. It is drought tolerant, so you often don't need to water this succulent. It handles neglect quite well and doesn't require much to thrive. Full sun is the best environment for Agave vatinuata. It will tolerate partial shade, but you may see a reduction in growth rate and overall health. Your agave will grow better in full sun but too much direct sunlight can cause sunburn if the light is on the harsher side. Frost and freezing weather are intolerable to it. If the temperature drops below 50 degrees Fahrenheit, avoid planting it outside. The foxtail requires low water. It can withstand drought and only occasionally has to be watered to prevent the ground from drying up completely. Water your agave attenuata when the soil is dry. Do not allow the agave to sit in water, which will cause root rot. Watering frequency should be reduced during the colder months and can be stopped altogether if temperatures remain below 40 degrees Fahrenheit for an extended period. Agave attenuata is a succulent, so it needs well-drained soil. The soil should be sandy and contain a lot of organic material. The ideal temperature for foxtail agave is between 55 to 75 degrees Fahrenheit. Since this agave species is not frost resistant, any temperature below the critical point could result in significant harm. In winter, when the sun shines less brightly and the temperature drops below 40 degrees Fahrenheit, move it to an area where it can receive protection from frost. These are frost sensitive plants that don't handle the cold well. Foxtail agave plants tend to prefer a hot and dry climate. It is a succulent that needs humidity levels between moderate and low levels. If you've grown agaves before and are familiar with their needs, the fertilizer requirements for agave attenuata should be pretty straightforward. Use a balanced fertilizer, such as one based on the NPK ratio of 10 to 1010. You can get this type of fertilizer at most garden centers. You should never overfeed your plant, otherwise it will burn up its roots and begin showing signs of stress early on in its life cycle. Foxtail agave can be propagated using pups or offsets and seeds. The plant produces plenty of offsets near the base of the central rosette. Each one can be separated and planted as an individual plant. Cut away the offset from the mother plant. Allow the offsets to dry and callus over for a few days before planting them in a separate pot. Water your new potted offsets once a week until they're established in their new pots. Foxtail agave can also be propagated from seeds. Follow this process for growing the plant from seeds. Determine the requirements of your respective species. Saw the seeds in a pot having good drainage and filled with a balanced soil mix. Add some water to the soil to keep it moist and wrap the pot with some plastic. Keep the pot in a warm location with indirect sunlight. Once you notice the seedlings forming within a month, take the plastic off. The seedlings are ready for plantation. Potting and repotting of foxtail agave should be done in spring or summer. Only repot is needed once every two to three years is usually more than enough. Young plants should be transplanted as soon as they have outgrown their containers. The most important factors are the pot and potting soil. Use a well-draining potting mix with equal parts of compost and perlite. 
select a pot with drainage holes at the bottom. Be careful about the size of the container. It should be as per the size of the plant. The diameter of a new pot should be one to two inches larger. Select the perfect spot where it can receive full sun all day long with some infrequent shade. Remove the plant from its pot. Wash off the old potting mix from the roots. Remove any excess soil around the base of the plant. Place it in a new pot filled with fresh soil and ensure no air pockets between the roots and soil. When repotting, take extra care not to bury the plant's rosette. Water it well, but not too much at once. Foxtail agave is a slightly toxic plant that can cause skin irritation if it comes into contact. Keep away from pets and small children. Agave snout weevils, scale insects and slugs and snails are the most common pests. The agave snout weevil is a small black beetle that can infest your agave plant. You will see them feeding on the tips of the leaves, which causes them to turn brown and fall off. The adult beetles are about one eighth inch long and look like they have a snout. Scale insects are small, flat, and oval shaped. They form a hard shell that protects them from predators. There are two types of scale insects, but they all live on the surface of leaves and stems. They suck the sap out of the agave and damage it. Large populations can cause plants to die because they're sucking so much moisture out of them. Slugs and snails are common garden pests that chew on leaves, stems, and roots. They leave behind a trail as they move around your plants. Please note and avoid. Overwatering the plant, placing it under harsh sunlight, using poorly drained potting mediums, and fertilizing during the dormancy period.